So today we're going to be reading 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God has not given us a spirit of timidity, but of power and love and discipline. So I know the King James Version and the New King James Version kind of reads a bit different. A power, love, and a sound mind. So let's take it back here. We are called not to be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ according to Romans chapter 1, verse 16. For those who are ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the power of God does not rest on them because the power of God is revealed through his gospel and his righteousness is, is revealed as well through his gospel. So in verse 8 of chapter 1 in 2 Timothy, Timoth uh, Paul says that, Therefore, do not be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord or of me, his prisoner, but join with me in the suffering for the gospel according to the power of God. So this kind of emphasizes the, the verse that preceded it, which is verse 7. We're talking about living for Christ and not being ashamed of Christ, of God, or the good news, or his word. We ought to not be ashamed of these things because it is the power of God that saves us. God's righteousness and his power is revealed through his good news, through his word, through his gospel that enabled us to be saved. So Paul is telling young Timothy at this time that in order to not be ashamed, right, to live that life unashamed and bold for Christ, we must remember that God has not given us a spirit of timidity. Now, the interesting thing is because Timothy is relatively young, um, a young pastor, um, that Paul would emphasize this word timidity. You know, we're not to be timid, okay, passive or, 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 or just kind of willy nilly. You know, we have to be bold, uh, for Christ Jesus. Um, and especially Timothy, because again, he's young, you know, he's going to have a lot of people that's a little older than him. Um, that's going to challenge him you know, or people around him that's going to talk about him. So being timid is not the way to go, right? It's not to shrinking back is not, um, what is Christ like. And that's not what's going to, you know, get you further, um, in your walk, you know? So Paul says that God has not given us a spirit of timidity, but what God did give Timothy, what God gives us as followers of Jesus Christ is the spirit of power through the Holy Spirit. We live by the spirit of the living God, the Holy Spirit, by his power. Ain't none of us going to be able to live for God if it wasn't for the Holy Spirit helping us, empowering us through every which way life circumstance. It's impossible. God did, God did not give us the spirit of timidity, but he gave us the spirit of power. He also has given us the spirit of love. Enable us to love others as Christ loves the church, as Christ loves us personally, as God, through the person of Jesus Christ, loves us. We were given the spirit of love and we have been given the spirit of self-control or of discipline. Now, the spirit of discipline is something that's not really talked about too much. The spirit of discipline involves us having self-control. You know, we're not taught too often anymore about the importance of self-control. A true follower of Christ has the spirit of the living God living inside of them. So the Holy Spirit is not going to allow us to just go out and do whatever we want to do, good or bad. You know, he's there to regulate us to the word of God, regulate our emotions, our actions, our deeds, our thoughts, our feelings and emotions based on God's word. We must practice self-control in light of God's word as in light of what the Holy Spirit has revealed and reminded us. We must, that's our job to have self-control. It's Christ Jesus' job through the power of the Holy Spirit to remind us of this truth. But brothers and sisters, we must, because we have the spirit of discipline, to have self-control. We have to do everything in moderation. Everything, some things we can't do at all. But some things we can do in moderation. Some things, you know, is not for us as Christians. But we must have self-control. And I pray that God will give all of us the spirit 
of self-control, of discipline, of love, and of power to live this life for him as he has called us to. God is not going to tell you to do something that he didn't equip you to do already. God is not over here trying to figure things out. He's figured it out. He already, he's rested. He's in a position of rest, never to create again. So he has given us all that we need. We must rely on the Holy Spirit to live for him always. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification so you won't miss any content that's released. Be sure to check out our website at waytruthem.org. We thank you so much for your ongoing support and your love, and we pray that you continue to put God first in all that you do.